today's the day I've been told I should be getting my car back. Take two. That first bit was recorded on Monday. Unfortunately, I found out, you know, partway through the day Monday, that the vendor had sent the wrong transmission to the shop. They'd sent an automatic instead of a standard, instead of a manual. And so they were having to have a standard overnighted. So we're hoping today's Wednesday. We're hoping it's done today. They should have gotten it yesterday. Should be getting installed. Should really pretty much be installed by now, I would think. So they probably just need to test it, make sure everything's good. But uh, hopefully we're getting things back today. Let's do this one more time. My name is Joshua Sutherland. And for the last 15 days, my car has been getting its transmission replaced in American 4. Oh my gosh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Okay, that's it. All right, guys, here it is, here it is. We got the goods. We got the goods. We, we got the car back. Oh my gosh. It's, oh man, it's, it's been way too long. All right, guys, so we're going to finish this vlog off from inside my room because it's like 8.30, it's raining outside, and, well, we've, we just don't really have anywhere else to film this. And we've got to get it finished because I've tried starting this vlog like three times now. And as you saw at the beginning, it was a bit of a blunder. Anyway, so let's talk about that real quick and then we'll get into what was wrong, what got repaired, how much it costs and stuff. And some things that I would probably suggest you just get taken care of because my car drives completely different now. So let's get into this. Originally, we were hoping I'd get my car back last Friday. So that was almost a week ago now. Today's Thursday, so last Friday. But what happened is they got the transmission in, but Ford sent them an automatic. Like, who does that? You know, they give them the VIN, and then Ford goes and they send an automatic. So obviously that doesn't work. So we had to wait. They overnighted a manual. We got the manual in. But then, you know, we were hoping, so that would have brought us to Tuesday, I think. They get it put back together, they go out and test drive it, and the clutch doesn't feel right. So they wind up having to order in a new clutch, which got there, I think it probably got there this morning. They installed the new clutch, took it out today, and everything seemed fine, everything seemed great. So we got it back today. So, you know, it wasn't the first day or the second day. It was the third day we thought we might get it back. Third time. You know, I was starting to feel like the beginning of Spider-Man in the Spider-Verse or something. So, what wound up happening? I mean, second gear was basically toast. I believe it's the Synchro that was just thrashed and it wouldn't shift into second gear anymore. Finally had to just take it in because it was getting to the point that it was not drivable. Got it taken in. They said, basically, transmission's toast. You just got to replace it. So that's what we did. We just wanted to replace it with a brand new transmission from Ford. So the nice thing is new transmission comes with three year, 100,000 mile warranty. So that's great. So my salvaged rebuilt car now has a transmission with a warranty. It's fantastic. It's great. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe I should have asked if any of that stuff had been replaced before. Hopefully it hasn't. Oh well. So I've got a brand new transmission, we've got a brand new clutch, they resurfaced the flywheel, and got it all put back together, it seems to drive good. There does seem to be a little bit of a concern though on my part. It doesn't quite sound right, it sounds a little funny, I think maybe we have an exhaust leak. Anyways, we'll get that checked out soon. So what did this all cost me though? The transmission itself, so to get it inspected and stuff, was $750 from the drop it, do an inspection, figure out what was wrong. Uh, part of that then went towards the replacement cost. Replacement cost for the transmission. The transmission itself was $3,150. So $3,150 for the transmission. Um, of course we need transmission fluid. Turning the flywheel was $150. And then the clutch kit that wound up getting put in this. We got a little bit of an upgraded clutch. So an OE, like an OE upgrade replacement is kind of how they described it. So it's a little bit of an upgraded clutch, which is good. That was... $779.79. In total, that brought me to $48.30 before labor, and then labor was another $1,400. So in total, it was $5,701.65. But let me tell you, the car drives so differently now. I mean, it's amazing. Before, the clutch, I mean, it felt like quite a bit of work. 
now this new clutch, holy cow, it's so easy to press that thing in, shift gears, let it out. It's, I mean, it's night and day difference. I know there are quite a few complaints about shifting in this car and that there are some concerns about the clutch. You know, I've thought about, you know, changing the clutch spring and stuff and a few different things. I would definitely say, if you can change the clutch, change the clutch. Because it has made such a difference already, not doing anything else. I mean, the transmission stock, as far as I'm aware, they've got stock fluid. It feels like it's stock fluid because it all still feels notchy shifting. But changing that clutch has made such a difference. The car actually feels drivable now. So it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy. I definitely spent more than I'd hoped to to get it fixed and replaced. I mean, spent more than a quarter of what I spent on the car to get it fixed. But you know what? We've got, we've got the warranty now on the transmission, which is great. There is something of a warranty that we've got for the flywheel and for the clutch kit. So we've got some guaranteed life on that luckily. So if anything catastrophic happens in the next 12 months or so, we're good, we're covered. Don't need to worry about that. But I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to get out driving this thing some more. Pretty excited to make some more videos, bring you guys some more content and such. And I will see you guys next time.